I've been judging in different competitions for many years and the reason I come here each and every year is how serious the organization is and the quality of the judges. Over 18,000 entries this year, which is a huge amount, but if you consider that for each entry we ask for four bottles, we're dealing with over 72,000 bottles of wine. All the wines in here are bagged, ready to be tasted. Another one golden rule at Decanter is no one takes the plastic bag off the bottle, even if you're one of the head judges. The first stage is getting through more than 18,500 wines and having a lot of expert judges come to do it. Lots of master sommelier, lots of master of wine, lots of people that have lots of experience. I love the process of coming back together at the end and just exchange opinions and exchanging scores. So everybody brings to the testing something particularly and so the discussion sometimes quite tough but in the end is to give the best to the wine. There's no preconceptions at all. A wine's judged blind. Um, it's completely what's in the glass. In a typical day I would taste uh, 75 to 85 wines. You're really looking at every wine without without any of the, the noise around it, the label, the reputation, the expectation. I think it's becoming kind of the Olympics, so you don't know who is actually in the race. We've got a, a glass crusher, which breaks down all of the glass, makes it much more transportable. You can see for all the leftover wine, we've got these IBC uh, bulk liquid containers. We've got 12 of these in total, which will fill up over the course of the week. And it's actually converted uh, into the national grid and used for electricity. Well, last week, we had the massive sort out where all the regional panels worked on all their regional wines and they predicated them, paused them, if you like, into uh, no medal at all, bronze medal, silver medal, gold medal. This week, uh, as a sort of security check uh, and as a way of grouping and, and refining our gold selection, we look at all the gold wines again uh, in order to check that they really are gold standard and we're looking for the very best wines amongst those gold wines to be promoted to platinum. When we read out the results at the end to see what people thought and we get scores are like 95, 96, 97 and everybody could see that it was a brilliant wine. That's a great feeling. I think it's the toughest wine competition to enter because the standards are very, very high. Only the very, very best that will make it through. The medals have to be earned.